I'll take it the first way I'm going to talk about why sunscreen and rosin is a thing. So when I got to the big leagues in 07, first time ever, I was, wasn't in big league camp. I had played catch with a big league ball like a handful of times. The Literally the first day I'm playing catch, I have no idea where the ball is going. And I'm panicking. And I go to one of the guys that I knew, and I was like, what do I do? And he's like, sunscreen, a little bit of rosin, and it becomes tacky, and you rub it on the ball and the ball loses the film, and so it becomes a regular baseball. So that's where it started. And then you get it in your glove because you use your glove every day. And so when you, when you rub the ball, it goes on your glove hand too, and then when you're constantly putting it in your glove, you get rosin in your glove. It isn't extra tacky, but it gets a little bit of a buildup on the palm area. It doesn't, you can't go to it and be super sticky. Mm. So the reason why we're where we are today is because MLB didn't fix the ball in 07 back then, and guys had to figure out how to be able to handle the baseball. Fast forward to high-speed cameras and being able to track spin, and all of a sudden guys realize that spin is better, and they start to cheat because these rules have been neglected and the, the problem of the baseball hasn't been fixed, okay? So the problem is that it's baseball's fault. It's the baseball. It's the commissioner's office. It's MLB creating this gap of that leaves an umpire to say, this is too sticky. There's talk of alcohol. Alcohol and rosin, I don't, I mean, I would have to experiment. Never heard of it before creating extra tack. You take the, the alcohol, you wash your hands because alcohol is the only substance. Soap and water does not take that sticky tacky stuff off, as anybody can tell you. It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And so the, the alcohol, whatever that is, I would be... I wouldn't be surprised if it adds some tack, but the fact that Phil Cuzzy took it upon himself to throw him out is not Phil Cuzzy's fault. It's the fact that the umpire has to decide this is too tacky. What is not too tacky? Well, what they, is I, I can answer that. I can't answer exactly what's too tacky or not, but the umpires are trained. So in the offseason, as you, as you know, I know, Jerry, but they, they put... Uh, they do checks on different hands. Like, is this an ejection? Go out and throw three innings. Not? So reapply, wash it, wash it with in front of another person. Go out and try to do it again, and tell me it doesn't feel different every time. Fix the the darn baseball with right. the new glove, might I add too. With the Don't new forget glove. about that. Like it, it again, you can't come out with a brand new baseball glove. Like. It's a brick. Stiff as can be. It's, you got to break it in. And how do you break it in? It's, again, you got to be able to throw the baseball and play catch all the time. The baseball's the problem. And you're going to throw out Max Scherzer. You better have video proof of him applying a foreign substance onto his fingers and it not being like this shouldn't be a sub subjective thing. And the fact that there's an umpire who's they're all trained. Tell me everybody's not doing it. Why is it and always Phil Cuzzy too? It. It's, it's always Phil Cuzzy. Like, that's a that's problem, what Jerry. Me. That's, that's a what problem. Me, JJ. Bothers me too.